In this video we will explain the basics of Unity version control, give a few general tips and best practices. Version control gives your project more security backing up your progress at key stages to the Unity cloud. It allows you to collaborate in a team with people from anywhere around the world. Version control can be open from window and version control. Notice it is embedded within Unity, making it easy to use and familiar for Unity users. Now you can push and pull data to the cloud directly from within Unity without needing any command line coding. And you can release more often, catch bugs earlier, try more ideas and deliver higher quality games to market. Create a new project in the Unity Orb and check the version control option and it automatically creates the repository on the cloud. This will have the same name as your project and is free for up to 5 gigabytes of monthly storage. Good folder structure is very important when sharing your project among team members. All team members will be able to find and save files in the correct locations. It keeps the repository ordered and eliminates accidental duplicates. See the version control ebook in the video description below for more detail. The files that will be uploaded to the cloud are shown in the pending changes section. Every time you make a change to a script, asset, scene or other file, they are added to the pending changes list. They have a green circle with a plus icon. Any files that have been changed but are not going to be uploaded to the cloud have a forward slash in the green square. When sharing a URP or HDRP project across the cloud using version control ensure the settings files are also included. Here we can see some of them are not going to be uploaded so right click on them and choose add to source control. Now they will be uploaded. In the pending changes it is showing all files including those that are not going to be uploaded to the server but have changes. These are called private files. Choose options to uncheck show private files to hide these. They can be switched back on at any time. It is good practice to check in changes often. This makes it easier to roll back without losing too much progress. When you are ready to update your changes, leave a short descriptive message of the changes you have made and click check in changes. Other team members will see an incoming changes icon appear in their version of Unity. It will show all changes that will be updated in the Incoming Changes tab. If there are no conflicts, they can click Update Workspace and the incoming changes will be updated to their project. They are now working from the latest version. You can see a list of all the changes in the Change Sets tab. When working with other team members, it will also display changes made by other people. Gluon allows developers to update their changes in regular change sets and not to have to worry about branches. The Gluon workspace is aimed at users who want a simplified version control experience. If you have the version control software installed, you can open the Gluon app. If you have not yet installed the software, go to the Branches tab in Unity Version Control and click Branch Explorer. You will now be prompted to download the software. When opening Gluon for the first time it will ask you to run an update to change from full mode which is the full version control software to a partial mode which is the user friendly Gluon software. You will also see the branches button in Unity now replaced with a configure Gluon button. The Gluon app looks like the version control window in Unity. We can see the check in changes which is the same as pending changes in Unity incoming changes and change set tabs. Here you also have access to the explore workspace. This shows you all the files for your project that exist on the cloud. Click configure to either download or delete files by selecting them and pressing apply. You can then update the workspace and these files will either be available now in your project or have been removed from your project. This can save time for artists where they don't want to download all updated files but just access the ones they need to update or modify. Even though you have deleted them from inside Gluon, this only applies to the current change set. The files are still on the cloud as previous change sets reference them. They can be reloaded if you need them. If you have updated the texture for example and checked that change in, the variations to the file are shown in the options to the right. Click on one of these to view the difference between the previous revision. This makes it easy to see modifications in a visual way using side-by-side -side comparison or swipe. Unity version control is free for up to three team members including yourself. 
If you need more than three team members, see the pricing section later in this video. Click on the Invite Members to Organization button which will open Unity Cloud. Log in using your Unity ID. This will take you to the Seats section where you can assign a new seat. Enter the team member's email address and choose if you want to give them admin rights. They will then receive an invitation email. It is also important to add the invited person to your organization. Go to Administration, then to Organization Members. You can now click Invite Organization Members. Enter their email address and assign a user type. They can then download the project from the Unity Hub. They would select Add UVCS Repository and choose the repo from the list. They will then be contributing to the same project on the cloud. This step is also useful for solo developers who want to switch between desktop computer and a laptop. Unity version control can handle thousands of branches. However, it is important to have a clear branching strategy that suits your organization needs. Main branch development is the easiest strategy and one best suited to beginners who have very little experience of version control. This can be used by developers working on their own or in small teams. All work takes place on the main branch and it does not require any sub branches. Feature-based development allows team members to create new features on separate branches. The developers are working in parallel to other team members not insulated from any bugs or issues that are created by anyone else. This means they can now focus only on bugs and issues related to their own feature. When the features are completed, they are merged back into the main branch. Gitflow is the most complex strategy suitable for larger organizations that have a lot of team members and need to keep features organized effectively. This has five main types of branches, main, development, feature, release, and hotfix. Nobody works on the main branch. It is reserved simply to keep the source code archived. Team members work on the development branch, which stores multiple change sets. Feature branches are created from development for team members to work independently until they are merged back into development. When the development is completed, this is merged into a release branch. This is a version of the game ready to be released as a final version. This is also merged back into the main and labeled with the version number, creating a backup of the source code at this stage. Work can then be continued on the development to create further versions of the game. The hotfix branch is created if there are bugs or issues identified later and need to be fixed. These are then integrated back into the release and main branch fixing any issues. Go to the branches section of Unity version control and click branch explorer to open the desktop app. If you have previously opened Gluon, you should open the version control app from the install software. Click the run and update to change to the full mode. Each of the circles on the main branch represents a saved change set. Hover over these to see the notes to explain what changes were made. A branch can be created by right clicking and choosing create branch from this change set. Ensure that branches are created from a stable change set of your game as the branch will inherit any issues or bugs from that point of your development. Features could be things like creating a code for achievements, adding the mechanics for different types of pickups, etc. In this example, a branch is created to work on a feature to add a nitro boost to the cars. While these features are being developed, you are working in an isolated branch, insulated from changes taking place on the main or development branches. You can ensure that your feature works accurately and all code is bug free before merging back to the main or development branch. Right click on it and choose Merge Change Set 2. You can then merge back to the main branch. At this point it will check to see if there are any merge conflicts between the files in your branch and the files on the main branch. If it is clear and there are no conflicts you can then merge. Leave a comment to explain the changes that have been merged. The new feature has now been incorporated into the project and available to all other team members. When trying to merge branches, you may find that it won't allow you if there are pending changes. Ensure to either check those in first or if they are unchanged files, click on it and choose undo. Now you can merge. Right click on the change set to add a label. This is good practice to highlight a stable change, letting others know that they can branch from this point without issues. Sometimes when trying to merge branches, it may discover a merge conflict. 
If you change a specific part of a file and someone else also changed that part of the file, then version control can't determine which change takes precedence. Unity can either attempt to resolve the conflicts automatically, or you can make the decision manually. To do this, right click on a file showing a merge conflict and you have various options. If you want to analyze the change differences, choose the diff options. This will open the diff viewer and show the two file variations. Unity's code aware merge tech, semantic merge, tracks move code to help you focus only on the relevant changes. You can then decide which should take precedence and choose to either merge the file and discard your changes, opting to keep the original file on the main branch, or you can merge the file but keep your changes and overwrite the file on the main branch. You can also click the Resolve Conflicts button to do this and Unity attempts to blend the two variations together into a single file. Unity Version Control also works well with large binary files such as prefabs and game scenes. This is where the Keep Source or Keep Destination can come in very handy. If you check in your changes only to find that this latest update has caused errors or bugs in your game, it is easy to roll back to a previous change set. Go to the Change Sets tab and right click on the previous change set. Choose Revert to Change Set. Now in the app you can right click on the change set with errors. Go to Advanced and choose Delete. This works when this change set has no dependencies such as changes or branches linking forward from that point. To prevent merge conflicts from disrupting workflow, it is a good idea to implement merge rules. Log into the cloud and go to settings, then merge rules. Click the new merge rule button and select from one of the four options. Only allow merge if reviewed will ensure that a merge can only take place after being reviewed and approved by other team members or team managers. Then specify which branches you would like the merge rules to apply to. You can define several merge rules, each targeting a different branch. Here I will allow merge from the development branch, then add another branch pattern, and this is for any feature branch. I will use the wildcard asterisk to denote any branch name, as long as it starts with feature. Then the destination to merge to will be main and development. Save the rule, and now when trying to merge, it will require the branch to be reviewed and approved. Go to Branches, right click on the branch to merge and choose New Code Review for this branch. This will contain all files that have been changed over the course of the entire branch. Click on Conversations to leave a message and invite other team members to review your work. Note that each team member must review the branch before you can merge, so ensure only the relevant people are included. They will then receive an email message to review your code. Go to Code Reviews to see the progress of the review. Double click to open it to see if any messages have been left for you. The invited team members can then mark this as either rework required or reviewed. Once the branch has been reviewed, it can then be merged. This adds extra security to your project. Code reviews can also be requested from individual change sets by right clicking on them and choosing new code review for this change set. This can be useful when you need extra support from other team members, particularly with identifying and fixing bugs. As you are working on files, you can click the checkout button, which will then mark this file with a diagonal arrow in the purple square. This lets other team members know that this file is checked out and currently being worked on by another user. It is much safer to lock the file, which prevents other team members from modifying them. They can still access them, but in a read-only format. Ensure the file you want to lock has not been checked out by someone else. You can either lock the files from the desktop app or from the Unity Cloud dashboard using the same method. In the desktop app, go to the Workspace Explorer and right click on the file you want to work on and click lock and check out. The Smart Locks feature checks the entire repo, including any branches to ensure that the file you want to lock is the latest version of that file and not an outdated older version. The file will now have a purple padlock on it. After you have finished your changes, you can then check the file back in, which will remove the lock and other team members can continue to edit that file. Owners of the project and anyone with admin status can remove a lock in situations where a team member may have locked a file but forgot to check it back in. Perhaps they've gone on holiday. Log into the Unity Cloud and in the DevOps section go to Repositories and from the Locks section you can click the Remove button. 
If you're already a Unity Pro subscriber, you get a DevOps seat assigned for free. So why not try it out? It's already part of your existing subscription. Your first three users and five gigabytes of monthly data storage are free. After that, pricing depends on your monthly active users and total cloud storage. The free tier for Unity version control provides a good intro to Unity DevOps and a good solution for a small size project. You can view your current usage for all projects by logging into the cloud and checking the overview of the DevOps section. Notice this shows 3,720 gigabyte hours here. This is calculated on an hourly range across the month. 5 gigabytes multiplied by 24 hours multiplied by 31 days, which equals the 3,720 gigabyte hours a month. So a project that has 5 gigabytes of storage that remains on the cloud for a month will use the free 3,720 gigabytes hours for that month. The usage then resets for the next month on a rolling basis. For a more detailed breakdown, click on Usage Reporting, and from here you can filter the data to a specific date range or certain projects. When you reach 50%, 75%, and 95% of your monthly amount, you will receive email messages. When you reach your free tier limit, your project will become read-only until you pay as you go for extra storage space. On the free tier, it costs 14 cents per extra gigabyte of storage space. So for 50 gigabytes of space minus the free 5 gigabytes of storage, it would cost you $6.30 per month. Extra seats for more team members can be bought for $7 per seat per month. After completion of a project, click on the Home button and choose the repo. From here, you can either download the repository or you can delete the repository from the cloud. It takes 10 days for the repo to be deleted from the cloud. This is done in case you change your mind and want to reinstall it, which can be done by choosing Undelete. Unity version control is very easy to use and gives your project extra security. Set up dedicated cloud servers out of the box to empower your teams to collaborate from anywhere in the world, even when you're working with large binary files common in game development. Code safely with branching and merging and make changes confidently with smart locks to reduce merge conflicts. Unity Version Control is the only VCS that provides both from the editor plugin. Download the Version Control ebook from the video description below to find out more. Thanks for watching.